In this lecture, we will cover two topics. The first one is transfer characteristics of enhancement type MOSFET or more precisely, we can say transfer characteristics of N-channel enhancement type MOSFET. The second topic is symbols, symbols of N-channel enhancement type MOSFET and P-channel enhancement type MOSFET. We will see how we can represent N-channel and P-channel enhancement type MOSFETs. If you remember the last lecture, we obtained the drain characteristics. We obtained the drain characteristics of N-channel enhancement type MOSFET. You can see the drain characteristics on your screen. We will use this drain characteristics to obtain the transfer curve. In drain characteristics, we have various plots between the output current ID and the output voltage VDS for various levels of input voltage VGS. We already know this point. We will have different plots for various levels of voltage VGS, which is the input voltage. Before moving to the transfer curve, let's discuss few important points related to drain characteristics. ID is the output current, VDS is the output voltage and we will vary voltage VGS to obtain different plots. We know there are two parameters already given with the MOSFET. The first one is the threshold voltage VT and let's say the threshold voltage VT is equal to 2 volt. So we have obtained these characteristics for VT equal to 2 volt and the second parameter is the constant K. And let's say it is equal to 0 0.27 multiplied with 10 raised to power minus 3 and the unit is ampere volt squared. So these are the two parameters for which we have obtained this drain characteristics. And let's say the first curve is for voltage VGS equal to 8 volt. The second one is for VGS equal to 7 volt. The third one is for VGS equal to 6 volt. The fourth one is for 5 volt. This one, the fifth one is for 4 volt. And this one here, this one here is for VGS equal to 3 volt. And the last one in which the drain current is equal to 0 is for VGS equal to 2 volt. So you can see the drain current is 0 throughout when VGS is same as the threshold voltage. This is one important point. When gate to source voltage is same as the threshold voltage, the drain current will always remain equal to 0 even if you increase the drain to source voltage VDS. You can see in all the plots other than the last one the drain current ID is increasing linearly with drain to source voltage VDS and after some time the increment in the drain current is very small as compared to the increment in the drain to source voltage and finally it becomes constant. It will remain same even if you increase voltage VDS and the voltage after which the drain current ID becomes constant is known as voltage VDS saturation and this voltage VDS saturation is equal to VGS minus VT and as VGS is different for all the curves VDS saturation is also going to be different and it is very easy to understand that VDS saturation for this curve as compared to this one is smaller because VGS is smaller as compared to VGS in this case. So we have VDS saturation smaller as compared to VDS saturation for this curve. In the same way, we will have VDS saturation for all the other curves. And if we join these points, we will have a locus. We will have a locus known as locus of VDS saturation this is the locus of VDS saturation and uh, now we can define different regions in the drain characteristics. The first region is the ohmic region 
or the triode region this region is the ohmic region or the triode region the region to the left of locus of media saturation is known as triode region or the ohmic region and the region in which the drain current is constant is known as saturation region and the region in which the drain current is equal to zero is known as cutoff region and uh, there is one more region known as breakdown region you will get breakdown region in which the drain current increases drastically the drain current will go to infinity because of large VDS the breakdown region is not important for us so we will focus on these three regions and uh, now we can easily obtain the transfer curve using the drain characteristics but there is one very important point you have to understand while defining the points on the transfer characteristics while defining various points on the transfer characteristics only the saturation levels are employed therefore limiting the region of operation we are only limited to the saturation region and we already know the condition for saturation region the voltage v ds must be greater than or equal to vgs minus vt and in this region in saturation region the drain current id is equal to k multiplied with inside the bracket vgs minus vt whole square so this is important point to note down while obtaining the transfer curve only the saturation levels are employed drain current id is equal to k times vgs minus vt square the equation is having squared term because of this transfer characteristic will not be linear we will have the transfer characteristic like this which is due to the squared term the transfer characteristics is the plot between output current id output current id and the input voltage the input voltage vgs for constant output voltage vds vds remains constant vt is equal to 2 volt and when vgs is less than vt or equal to vt the drain current is equal to 0 amp you can see from the drain characteristic when vgs when vgs is equal to vt this means when vgs is equal to 2 volt id is equal to 0 amp and when you decrease vgs more this means when you make vgs less than 2 volt id will remain zero and in this plot this is vgs equal to 2 volt which is the threshold voltage vt and if you decrease vgs more the drain current id will remain zero so we have id equal to zero when vgs is less than 2 volt which is the threshold voltage now we will find out what will be the drain current for the other values of voltage vgs if you see the first plot you will find when vgs is equal to 8 volt 10 milliamp is the drain current and i will extend this line i will extend this line like this in the same way i will extend all the lines like this i will also drop vertical lines on various levels of vgs we know what will happen to the drain current when vgs is equal to 0 volt 1 volt and 2 volt the drain current will remain zero but when vgs is equal to 3 volt from the drain characteristics you can see when vgs is equal to 3 volt the drain current is equal to this value we have extended this line and you will find a point in the transfer characteristics which will tell us the value of drain current when vgs is equal to 3 volt and we have obtained this point using the drain characteristics in the same way when vgs is equal to 4 volt you can see when vgs is equal to 4 volt this is the characteristics and the drain current is equal to 1 milliamp the drain current is equal to 1 milliamp in the same way you will have different points in the transfer characteristics 
and now we will join these points we will join these points to obtain the transfer curve in case of n channel enhancement type mosfet this is the final curve so we are done with the transfer characteristics if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section now we will move to the next part of this lecture in which we will discuss how we can represent the n channel enhancement type mosfet and p channel enhancement type mosfet if you see the construction of enhancement type mosfet you will find there are four terminals and they are connected to gate drain source and substrate gate is insulated from drain source and substrate using silicon dioxide we use silicon dioxide to insulate the gate to insulate the gate from drain source and substrate now there is one homework problem you have to tell me why we use silicon dioxide to insulate the gate from drain substrate and source this is the first homework problem once you have your answer post it in comment section and now we will move to the symbol of n channel enhancement type mosfet i will first draw a vertical line a thick vertical line representing the gate of enhancement type mosfet after this i will draw the drain and as we already know the gate is insulated from the drain and because of this we have a gap between gate and drain in the same way i will draw the source of the mosfet and there is gap between source and gate the n channel the n channel is formed in case of n channel enhancement type mosfet and this n channel is formed in substrate substrate the channel initially is not present and i will represent the channel by another thick vertical line and this channel is supported by the substrate or body i will take out other terminals also this terminal is the drain terminal this terminal is the source terminal but in case of gate there is a difference the terminal is not taken out from the center but it is taken out from the bottom like this the gate terminal is drawn in l shape adjacent to the source terminal and now i will enclose it inside a circle in case of enhancement type mosfet the channel is not present initially so we have the break in the vertical line the channel is not connected to the drain or to the source because initially the channel is not present and to enhance the channel we have to apply suitable voltage so we can differentiate between the enhancement type mosfet and the depletion type mosfet in case of depletion type mosfet the channel is present already and in that case the representation will have a continuous vertical line the symbol is incomplete it cannot differentiate between the n channel enhancement type mosfet and p channel enhancement type mosfet i will first copy the symbol and then i will paste it so that we can use it for p channel enhancement type mosfet now to differentiate between n channel and p channel we use arrow we put arrow like this in case of n channel and we put arrow like this in case of p channel now we will move to the second homework problem you have to tell me what is the reason because of which we put arrow like this in case of n channel enhancement type mosfet and arrow like this in case of p channel enhancement type mosfet the first homework problem was why gate is insulated from drain substrate and source and i will give hint for this problem you have to think about impedance you have to think about impedance the hint for the second problem is direction direction of flow of 
flow of current in case of semiconductor devices whenever there is arrow the arrow is pointing to the direction of flow of current so this is the hint for the second problem and now we will modify the symbols we already know the substrate is connected internally to the source so we can connect the substrate terminal internally to the source and it will look like this so this is the new symbol and we can do the same thing in case of p-channel enhancement type MOSFET also I will connect the substrate terminal or the body terminal to the source so this is all for the symbols of enhancement type MOSFETs for n-channel and for p-channel and don't forget to answer the homework problems in the comment section